Hi, this is Jeff with voiceapps.com and today I'm going to create a quick video to show you how easy it is to get uh, started with voice apps and to create an Alexa skill in just a few minutes using our tools. Okay, so here we are at the uh, home page. I'm just going to click the start now button uh, and then I'm going to log in with my Google account and that'll take me to my projects page. So just click the create new project button and then we'll enter a name for our skill. And we're going to create an ice cream shop skill today. So I'm going to name it ice cream shop. The invocation name is going to be ice cream shop. I'm going to choose a category for my skill. I'm just going to choose business and finance for now. Um, I'm going to leave the uh, target languages locales to uh, English US, but you can uh, deploy your skills to all of the locales that Alexa supports. Um, I'm going to choose an icon. Uh, we offer millions of icons that you can choose from. So I'm just going to search for ice cream here, and I'm going to choose this one. And so now I have a, uh, an icon for my skill, uh, and this is a demo ice cream shop. Great. Okay, so now I've created my new project. I can just uh, click on it here to actually edit it, and that'll take me to the edit window. Um, you'll see that uh, the edit window gives me a visual, visual representation of my skill. And I can uh, move this around, I can zoom in, I can zoom out. Uh, really helps me to see my project uh, visually and see what's going on. And then I can zoom into the portion of the project that uh, I'm working on at that time. So for this uh, little demo skill, we don't need the goodbye or help uh, intent, so I'm going to remove those. And we're just going to use the uh, welcome intent. Uh, and intent is what the user intended when they actually say something to our skill. So for example, the welcome uh, intent would be uh, activated when the user opens our skill, says open ice cream shop or launch ice cream shop. The uh, welcome intent would be activated. So when the user um, uh, invokes or activates our skill and launches it, we actually just want to give them a simple response. So over here on the right, I have the details of this welcome intent. And so I have four tabs here. We're going to go to the responses tab for this demo. And we're going to add a response group um, and say what Alexa will say back to us when we open the skill. So in this case, I want to say welcome to the ice cream shop. Uh, what is your favorite flavor? So again, something simple just for a demo so that I can show you how, how this works. So great. So now we've got our uh, skill actually welcoming the user, asking a simple question. Now we want to get a response. So to do that, I just click on this add intent uh, button to add a new intent. And in this case, we'll call it chocolate because this will handle when the user uh, says anything like chocolate. Okay. And here on the activation tab of the chocolate intent, we're going to say this intent is triggered by what the user says and we're going to enter just a couple of phrases that they might say, chocolate, or they might say chocolate ice cream. And that way we'll capture uh, anything they say. Again, you can just keep entering these if you feel that there's other synonyms uh, or similar phrases that your user might say. And then we're going to choose that this uh, intent is only activated when the welcome block is activated. And what that does is it'll actually connect these two blocks for us so that um, the chocolate intent won't get inadvertently activated when I'm in another part of my skill. Okay, so great. So when the user says chocolate, we want to give them a response. So in this case, I'll create a new response block here and I'll say something like, um, that's a great flavor. Chocolate is also my favorite. Okay, great. So now I want to uh, capture another flavor. So in this case, I'll uh, create a new intent. Just triple click here to change the title and we'll make that vanilla. And this is going to be, this is going to handle when the user says something like vanilla. Okay, great. Uh, similarly, we're going to go to the activation step when the skill is, uh, instead of when the skill is launched, we're going to make it by what the user says. And we'll choose, we'll type in vanilla or vanilla ice cream. 
All right, and then it's also only gonna be activated uh, by the welcome block. So great, so now I have um, a chocolate intent and a vanilla intent, and I need to create a response for my vanilla intent. And so when somebody says vanilla, I'm gonna say, um, I love vanilla too, but chocolate is my favorite. Awesome, okay. So now we've uh, built our really simple skill here. Uh, let's go ahead and test it and see how it works. So to test it, I can just click this test button here at the top. That'll open up our test window. And then to quickly start the uh, test, you can use your voice or you can use your keyboard here. Uh, but to quickly start the test, I can just uh, click in the box and just hit my enter or return key. And that'll start the skill. So let's go ahead and do that. Welcome to the ice cream shop. What is your favorite flavor? Great, so the uh, skill has welcomed me, and now I'll answer with uh, our first uh, test intent. That's a great flavor. Chocolate is also my favorite. Great, so, uh, so it worked. So let's uh, open the skill again, and uh, again, I'll just click in the box and then hit my enter key, and then we'll uh, answer vanilla the next time. Welcome to the ice cream shop. What is your favorite flavor? Vanilla. I love vanilla too, but chocolate is my favorite. I hope you've enjoyed this quick uh, demo, and uh, we'll see you at voiceapps.com. Thanks.